Transport and Roads Cabinet Secretary Kipchumba Murkomen has defended the proposal before the Finance Committee to increase the fuel levy by 7%, saying it would help bridge the budget deficit for roads infrastructure maintenance. Murkomen allayed fears that the fuel levy hike would result in higher prices of goods. Kamche Menza tells us more. A proposal by the government in the Finance Bill 2024 to raise the fuel levy from 18 to 25 percent has caused jitters in the public with fears of prices of commodities also going up. Kama kwa mafuta mwaka jana waliongeza silimia kumina sita kutoka silimia nane VAT kwa mafuta. Na sasa tena tunasikia bado wanaongeza ushuru mwingine wa fuel levy ushuru huu utaongeza gharama ya maisha mawasiliano kila kitu kama kutoka hapa kwenda kaangora saa hizi tunalipisha 50 wakiweka hiyo 70% itabidi kutoka hapa kwenda kaangora itakuwa 100 nani ataenda kaangora angalia pia wananchi wananchi wanaumia but transport and roads cabinet secretary kipchumba murkomen disagrees we are not going to be unreasonable to say we will propose, we make a proposal that we increase the prices of goods. No, we will make sure that the whole government approach must uh, ensure that the fuel levy is such that it is not going to make us increase the cost of goods, but at the same time give us resources to be able to maintain our roads. This is a direct fund that goes straight to improving the roads. Because if you have the a number of portals that you have in most of our roads, especially the rural paved roads that have been abandoned, if you continue having those level uh, portals, then you are going to have a higher cost of maintaining vehicles. You are going to also have a higher cost of transport. The CS father expressed preference for taxation rather than borrowing to bridge the current budget deficit. Because we have a pending bill of about 165 billion and if you look at the allocations that are put in our ministry in the development budget for roads, we got 51 billion. The, we are still working hard to make sure that we bridge the gap because even at this pace, we are not going to deliver the road infrastructure the time we are supposed to do. We are expecting a revenue of about 88 billion shillings on the road maintenance uh, system vis-a-vis -vis a, a resource requirement requirement of 157 billion shillings. There is a major gap. Sentiments echoed separately by Budget Committee Chair and Indinyoro, who lamented over the country's huge debt portfolio. Katika sirigi miyo moja inachukuliwa kama kodi. Sirigi sitini na moja inaenda kwa kulipa madeni. Inaachwa sirigi veradhini na tisa kwa kuleta maedeleo kwa wa Kenya. Na diyo maana, saazigine munaona lazima tujikaze kama nchi, Nyoro, however, said members of the public's opinions on the Finance Bill 2024 will be addressed before its passage. Hakuna report imeletu na kamati ya finance. Bado wanachukua maoni ya wadosu wetu, abawa wadosu wetu ni wananchi wa Kenya. Kamchemeza for the Legends Edition.